In any measurement in analytical chemistry, the accuracy is at most important. Accuracy is defined as a degree of agreement between measured values and true values. It means if your measurement is close to true values, then it called high accuracy like this. Assuming that your dart is your measurement and bull eyes is true value. Likewise, if it deviates from true values, then it called low accuracy. What is precision? By definition, the precision is the degree of agreement between replicate measurements of the same quantity. In other words, the repeatability of the results. It means if you repeat the similar experiment with similar setup and you're getting similar result, there is high precision. Why, if your result is deviate from previous measurement, then it's low precision. Did you know? Good precision does not guarantee good accuracy. You may have high repeatability of your measurement, but it's not a right answer, like this one. It may due to systematic errors. Sometimes it called determinant errors. Systematic errors may come from instrumental errors, such as faulty equipment, uncalibrated equipment or glassware. It also may come from wrong methodology or operative errors. One way to minimize the systematic errors due to instruments is to do a proper calibration. However, it is nearly impossible to have accuracy without good precision. To have a good precision, we need to minimize random errors, sometimes called indeterminate errors. These errors are exposed by small differences in successive measurements made under similar conditions and cannot be predicted or estimated. Fortunately, it is safe to say that random errors always follow normal distribution or Gaussian curve. Normal distribution curve should contain a few large errors and equal number of positive and negative errors. Of course, we cannot entirely eliminate all random errors in any experiment, so one must be content to minimize them to a tolerable level. In coming video, I will introduce you a term called Confident Interval CI. I hope you'll be able to differentiate between accuracy and precision. Please subscribe and smash the like button and notification bell for more quality videos in the future. See you next time.